that's been very interesting trying to explain to a lot of my friends what's going on. I'm not saying you're racist. I'm saying that you're not seeing me, the story, where my family comes from. We're about to order some Thai. You want in? I mean, I don't really like Thai, but if I say no, then am I racist? No, me. Why are you being so defensive about this? Yeah, you are seriously on some white fragility shit. Wow. I suppose you think that deal? Yeah, you're you're white, and you're always taking those calcium chews, mm. so you have no idea what that is, do you? Mm. Oh. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't even matter, because I'm done with this whole conversation. Hey, hold on. Just huh. so you know, you being done with this conversation, instead of recognizing your participation in the problem, is the exact definition of white fragility. Mm. It's like you don't even want to have the tough conversation. For a while, a lot of people were ignorant to what is really going on. When you try to shatter this illusion, that is when you run into, that is that in my opinion is when you run into the problem of white fragility, that defense. You'd be surprised how many people aren't necessarily bad people, but they're just ignorant of these issues. And when you try to bring it up, when you try to educate people, now they're actually fighting back. Oftentimes it's forcing them to acknowledge something that's still present that they would rather act is not there. If they were ignorant, oh, I've just done something wrong. It's really hard to probably understand that you have to meet in the middle and no one has to be, you don't have to it, on that second be the wrong or right, you just have to be in the middle. A lot of the white friends and white companions that I've had over my lifetime and in school, it's not that they don't believe it exists. It's the issue they have is that they feel like once you've brought it up and they have to actually accept that it exists, they have to accept that the fact that they actually might be furthering the problem. And though they're like, no, I'm an ally, I'm doing this and that, I'm BLM, yeah. I'm like, no, that's not enough. It's not enough for you to just say it. It's not enough for you to post about it. It's, it's not even enough for you to even just like vote about it. It's honestly, the biggest thing is living it. Going off of that, I feel like there definitely needs to be more conversation on like the fact that like, it's not just enough to like not be racist, but you have to be anti-racist because if you're not anti-racist, we're contributing to racism. I've been in professional environments where I have gotten microaggressive comments and instantly in that moment I wanted to say something, I wanted to speak up for myself, but I, I found myself almost shrinking myself because I didn't want to come off as the angry black woman. I didn't want to come off as this radical, you know, girl who just has these, you know, extreme views when in reality the comment made was not okay. I had to move to a point where I'm calling out every single microaggression because it's bigger than me, it's for my people, it's for my culture, it's my ancestors did not have the ability to go to school and to live the life that I have. It's a badge of honor and a badge of pride. When you're in predominantly white spaces, they never take into account the mental strain on you when you have to deal with race issues, but also sports, schools, friendships, family life, things of that situation. So I think what I've had to do, I just, I've just had to pick my battles with people. It's draining um, having to always be the token black guy. It's draining to fight those subconscious pressures of, am I gonna code switch in this moment? At my HBCU, it, I, I never really noticed until I really got on campus, that pressure is kind of lifted off my shoulders. There's no one I have to impress. There's no token that I have to be. There's no race that I have to represent because the majority of us are black anyways. So it definitely helps with my racial social battery so I don't drain myself out. You're awesome. I'm impressed with all of you.